Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Teresa and I like to do tidying, decluttering, and organizing videos. And this time around I'm going to give you a little bit of each. I'm going to be doing a little chore list that we have in the house and uh, I don't quite get it all done so there's going to be a second video but I'm going to do some deep cleaning and some organizing and we're also going to put some things together as well to make things just a little bit easier in our lives. So if you like these kinds of videos I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this one a big thumbs up that would be unbelievably awesome. Also, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see what they are if you'd like to leave them in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and get to this one. I've got a list. I've got a list. And uh, I hope you enjoy. So my goal today was to complete this list and let's see just how much we get done. So um, in doing some laundry, I found this really cute, and I'm gonna post all of these below so you can get them on Amazon. I found this really cute folding board, and let me tell you, this thing is a game changer if you want your clothes to be really super neat. And um, it also helps if you're trying to do kind of an envelope method in folding and putting your clothes away. So I'm having fun with this one. I'm just getting some laundry put away. So many of you know I use Norwex cloths for a lot of my cleaning, so what I'm going to do is wash them with this special Norwex detergent that I also have. It helps them get a little bit cleaner. I do not sell Norwex anymore. I do use the products. If you decide that you want it, I suggest that you find a Norwex rep. But anyway, check one. We got that laundry put away and the rest of it started. Now we're going to move on to building this shoe shelf for Caitlin's room. She only has a few pairs of shoes, but she wanted a little shoe rack type thing. So that is what we're gonna do. And let me tell you, <laughs> you gotta read those directions. I was putting things on backwards and upside down and all kinds of ways, but I do get through it, just bear with me. And just a little reminder, um, Caitlin is in her mid-20s. She is my daughter from my first marriage, and she is special needs. She is pretty high-functioning, but you'll see her attempt to help here and there. You'll also see her like always touching her face and her lips. She just does that all the time. We're trying to get thingies for her lips so that they're not so dry, but you'll see her do that a lot, and that's why she's doing it. But again, she is my number one cheerleader, I love her to death and she really does her best to be very helpful and actually she does really well in, in trying to be um, relatively independent or at least as independent as she can be. So she's learning. Sometimes she gives up on me. I think she's going to give up on me here in a minute with this shoe rack thing.
and she's out. <laughs> she was gone. She was like watching TV in front of me for the rest of this attempt at putting this thing together, which I finally do. But she was like, nope, I'm out. And I don't blame her. So now Caitlin wanted to put it in her room herself and she wanted it in a specific spot in the closet. So I had to follow her and do what she said and it's her closet so that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to line up the shoes here. Okay, da da. That was uh, the second thing we had to do, so there I can check that off the list as well. Okay, number three on the list was to clean this mess up. Actually, it's not messy, I just didn't feel like it was a good flow for me. And honestly, I'm probably gonna end up going back in here and doing this all over again as well. I really wanted to use a larger Lazy Susan but as you'll see, I can't get it to um, kind of spin without getting in the way of that electrical cord that's hanging from the garbage disposal. But I play around with it. I'm probably gonna end up doing it again, but I'm happy with how it turns out. So let's see. Oh, and Blue says hi. <laughs> So you'll notice I end up not using a bin and putting some of the things in front of the Lazy Susan and this is why I don't feel like this is going to work out well for me in the end, but at least it's neat as I'm doing it. Now I will say one good thing is those Dollar Tree like plate racks are very helpful and if you have smaller bins, if you put a plate rack and then a bin on top and a bin on the bottom, that works out pretty well for saving some space. So that part I did like. And da-da, there we are. So I've got the um, little llama that I put my sponge in and then the method items are in the front and then the deep cleaning in the back. And right here I do use this dish drainer if I'm hand washing and those are all the pads that I drain with. And then my pods for the dishwasher. And if you look in the back, I've got my gloves back there and um, some random kind of rags as well. One is for cleaning fruits and vegetables and one's a dishcloth. So yeah, I've got all this stuff going on back here right now. I think I'm gonna change it out again though. I need to find a different way to make those back items more accessible. Okay, so that is the Organize Under Sink item three checked off on the list. On to the next. 
So now I really want to deep clean, I mean deep clean, this refrigerator. It's not working for me and I need to get in here and move these shelves around. I've always kept them like this and I figured I needed to move them around and make it a little bit better. Also, if you noticed on that second shelf, I have a bunch of little ranch dressings that are so good. They're from a local restaurant, so I'm gonna also put those into one container. Actually, I think it's two containers, just so I can have them. But yeah, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and reorganized and deep cleaned, because that's what you're supposed to do. And then also, I'm going to do the freezer as well, which isn't as bad, but again, needs to be done. So here's that ranch dressing that I'm putting in a couple containers that I got from a local restaurant. For some reason, I just think their ranch dressing is better than anywhere else I can get it or make it. So I'm keeping this stuff. I'm going to use it all. It's so good. So we are recyclers here, so I'm dumping these out and then we're going to wash them out and put them in our recycle bin. And now I'm going to scrub down all of the shelves and bins that are part of the refrigerator and get them all nice and clean. Take care of your sorrow And I promise the kids will be alright Cause we don't want them all stressed out Running for the lives A game they play a thousand miles of sadness I can be with you wherever Stay Okay, so now all of the bins are set aside and they are drying and I'm going to work on going through this food so I can get it put back into the refrigerator and just keep the good stuff. Also, I realize I need to go shopping because we don't have very much food. Also, I'm going to clean out the fridge with the Method Antibac. It smells fantastic. It's the Citron uh, scent and of course I will be using my Norwex EnviroCloth because I just really like how well it cleans and I like to use the two together. I feel like I'm getting like a better clean that way. So we're gonna wipe this down. So now I'm going to put my bins back in, but I'm trying to reconfigure them this time 
so that they fit better and I have more room because I've always just kind of kept them the way it was from when we got the refrigerator, which was in 2006. So yeah, it's time for me to start moving some bins around, I think. It's been, it's been a minute, I think I can do it. Now I will say I have a newfound love for the Lazy Susan. It really does make it a lot easier to get things in and out if you've got one. So I highly recommend them for spaces like this. I, if I could just put them everywhere, I probably would. And voila, here is my clean fridge. It doesn't look like a Pinterest fridge and that's okay. I'm just working with what I have. Eventually I'll probably go get some bins and make it all pretty like that. But for now, I just wanted to clean up my fridge and, and get it somewhat organized. So I've got my stuff in the door, drinks on the bottom, your condiments and sauces and jams and jellies. And in the bottom, I really do need to go shopping. I need to get some produce because there's like none. And then my drinks are on the Lazy Susan. We've got some biscuits behind there. We've got our milk. There's some leftovers. And then I'm trying to quit drinking pop. Yes, I said pop because I'm from the Midwest, but I have a couple more we just need to finish. Eggs on top and butter in the door. Now onto the freezer. And this really, it doesn't need that much. I just also need to clean some stuff out. So we are going to get to this. Okay, I wanna show you guys this little piece of magic. I also got this on Amazon and I'll link it. It is a heat sealer. One end actually cuts and then the other end seals. So I'll show you how this works. I don't like the cutting end though, so I end up using scissors, but you just wanna cut them so that you can get enough in there, but not too much so that you can get it to seal. You have to hold it together for about a few seconds, four or five seconds for it to warm up. And that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to hold the end together and you might have to run across it a couple times and it heat seals together. It's amazing, it like basically reseals something for you and then you can just store it again, keep some fr fresher. It's quite a lonely world that we live in. 
Okay, now really, isn't that the coolest thing? I love this. Saves a lot of space too. I will link it, it is awesome. Everything makes total sense when you're next to me. Oh. And ta-da, here is my cleanup freezer. Um, I've put everything pretty much back. Most of my vegetables are frozen vegetables, so they're in there. There's ice packs that we use for our RV, baking soda. In this cup over here is um, ice cubes that are like plastic, so you, if you want to put them in wine or something, it doesn't water down your wine. And then just, you know, little things here in the door, whatever fits, more bag type stuff in the door. And then over here we've got like our not so good for us food, our ice cream and little pizzas and things like that. I always dump out the ice, so new ice will be made. And then down there is some frozen fruits and vegetables as well, and then some waffles. So yeah, that's all done now too. And then I get to check this one off. Clean fridge, clean freezer, whatever. But I was exhausted and I'm going to save the rest for another time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Sitting on the sidewalk.